Hey everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy on Tech Socking Shop, and today we're discussing Oh Crap Drawers, a drawer that has the things you may need for automotive or otherwise in case of an emergency. I think I have a few of those. Let me show them to you. When it comes to working on computers, and I know most of you are here to talk about cars, and we will get to that in a second, but I just want to show you this Oh Crap Drawer that I have here, and uh, this has just got all kinds of stuff from like a CD-ROM drive and other kinds of drives and connectors that I just may need one day but i want you to look at this crazy ram drawer look at that look how much ram i got in there <laughs> tons of different kinds of ram that you never know you'll run into but enough of that computer stuff i know that's not as exciting as some of the tools that i have here that are my oh my gosh i'm in trouble drawer so it's going to be right here and i'll go ahead and open this guy and this has the things that I think I need if I'm in deep trouble. So here you go. The first thing I have is this Lyle flip socket four piece right there to take off wheels. And this right here will conform to the lug nut and it, it helps me get them out when, when they're stuck on there and they've been somewhat stripped. Sometimes you need to torque stuff in really weird places and these torque adapters that go on your ratchet come in handy this one's from quinn and then i have the naiko naiko nike <laughs> one of those names this is the digital torque wrench that goes up to 150 foot pounds to 750 foot pounds and it fits three quarters and then this one here i think is a three eighths right there so you have i have those when a regular torque uh wrench won't fit in there and these all kind of you know with some adapters and some connectors you can go ahead and get in some tight spots now here's another item that i have when i get in trouble this is the sonix square bit tool set now this works for both my techie stuff and my automotive stuff once in a while i'll run into a square bit and this has both male and female square bits and in the most typical sizes so this right here has saved me but it doesn't get a lot of use Talking about another tool that doesn't get a lot of use is this Power Probe Butane Soldering Kit right here that I bought used. And I bought it because you never know when you need to solder. And sometimes you have to solder in the most uncomfortable spots. And having this kind of setup has helped me get those done. And I've only used this a couple of times. I'm still digging in the same drawer, guys, and here you go. This is the Easy Red Battery Cable Kit. I know it's upside down, <laughs> but let me go ahead and open that up for you. And there's the instructions. It doesn't, again, get a lot of use, but when I need it, it's there. I don't know about you guys, but I have only reterminated battery cables just a few times, and the few times that I had to do it, I needed this toolkit. So this right here has been a godsend for those situations where I just need that. Talk about another tool that I don't use often, but I know I'm going to need when I need it. And that is this Arrow one-handed swivel rivet kit. Now, again, not something you use all the time, but when you need it, you're just so glad you have it and don't have to go run out and buy it. Here's another kit. Again, that is in my, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble drawer. The gear wrench kit right here, the AP socket master sensor kit. I bought this because I needed it twice and I don't use it all the time. I'm not changing oxygen sensors as much as some of you guys are, but this kit right here has come in clutch as the young people say. And this right here has, is just amazing. It's got all the sizes I need and better than the way I used to do it, which we won't discuss here because I think some of you will just make fun of me. Now, this is in this drawer, but it does get more use than I have to say. It may not necessarily belong in this video. This is the OTC compression tester. I have used this in the past. It comes in so handy that uh, it was a must-buy. But as you can see here, I keep it like brand new. Let me go ahead and open that up there. And there you go. It's almost like brand new. I do use it. Believe it or not, I have used this quite a bit. But... It is in my oh crap drawer, so maybe it hasn't gotten that much use as of late. And you know I'm in trouble if I'm pulling out the five ton gear and bearing puller here from Matco Tools. This is MST 4518A that I bought used, and I haven't actually used 
But I rented one once, and uh, yeah, so I bought this used, and now I have it. Now that's enough of my oh crap drawers. I have others, but I think that's enough. I got a feeling the channel's going to be asked to do others, and I want to keep a few in reserve. Now do me a favor. If you would, please subscribe to this channel. This is Text Talking Shop, a compilation of technicians who are professionals and semi-pros like myself who are aspiring to learn the skills that have gathered here to talk to you, the audience, about what it takes to do mechanic work or learn about your car or get into the field as deep as some of the pros that we have on this channel. It's an amazing compilation and I'm happy to be part of it. I'd also ask you to go ahead and subscribe to Ed the Old Tech Guy. That's my channel where I talk about tools, tech, DIY, and everything else that comes into my head. So see you on the next one, guys.